Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Today, as you can see, we're going to be planning in my Happy Planner. We're using this colorful store, color story for sticker book. As you can see, I have tabbed the pages I'm using. So, um, I was going to use that, or I liked that quote right there. It says, um, something about the journey. And I really liked those, um, like, oh my gosh, what are they called? Like, winter wear, winter, um, themed stickers I really liked those um, but so I am I just showed you how last week turned out I'm pulling out my um, inserts from little miss fancy plans I absolutely love her inserts I love how neutral they are they're very easy to use and to do whatever I want with them so I really wish the Happy Planner would have come out with a planner like this, but they didn't. So that is okay. I found some and printed them myself. She does have printable options, but she also has it to where she will print it and send it to you. Um, I do want to apologize. I completely forgot to set um, my zoom. No, it's not zoom. Focus. I forgot to set my focus to where it wouldn't do that in and out thing. So this originally was a talk through. Um, I did talk through most of it and then Chris came home within like the last 10 minutes of the video and I just, yeah, he was talking in it and he was playing and him and Titan were playing and it was just he was trying really hard to be quiet, but I just couldn't do it. I was like, um, no. I don't know where I got cut off at from talking. My thing automatically stopped recording me, but anyway, so I just decided to do a, um, voiceover instead. So I let him get on his game and play and then, um, just played with my stickers too. <laughs> so, uh, I wanted to do like a, well, not really a scene, but I wanted to do all of those beautiful, um, wintry items in the middle. So I just used this washi tape that is from the Happy Planner. As you saw, I had like that little tray that is all Happy Planner, um, washi tape. And I don't have to use just Happy Planner. I know that I know I can do whatever I want, but I like using Happy Planner washi in my happy planner with quotation marks around it because it's not really happy planner anymore. I mean, I still use the happy planner system with the discs and I use this happy planner cover and I do use a lot of happy planner items still, but, uh, I've kind of made it my own planner because I didn't like how non neutral it was. So anyways, um, just washing the top and the bottom that middle portion my cat is playing on her scratching post if you hear her and I am very sorry but I'm washing out the top and the middle portion and then I'm going to just like white out these middle lines and I'm gonna speed you a little faster through this because it does take me quite a while So now that we have sped through all the boring stuff, um, we are going to go ahead and start laying all of these gorgeous like outerwear uh, that is winter. I just love these. I love like the pinkish color and the different blues they used. I just thought it was really cute. So I'm going to just like spread this around in the middle, cut out because I don't want it to overlap. I want it to like stop at the washi. Um, but I'm going to do all that. and then it's just going to look gorgeous, y'all. <laughs> so I really like how that pin did a really good job of widening out those lines, except on the other side, it kind of left a little bitty, like I, I made an oops, basically, is what happened. <laughs> so, but um, I did get this idea from According to Allie. Um, she has a YouTube channel. I will link it down below. Um, if you have never heard of her, uh, she does ha I got this idea from her of using a jelly roll to white out the lines. Oh, see, you can see that spot now. Um, to white out the lines instead of using, I guess, white out like you would normally use. But anyways, so 
Um, I guess I can kind of talk about what's going on this week. So this week that you are watching me plan for, actually I need to get out my happy planner because I don't actually remember what is going on <laughs> this week. Um, but this week is, oh yes I do, we go back to school this week. Ugh, I know, but we apparently have to. Um, so we go back to school this week and we have in service on Monday and Tuesday, which basically means that the the students don't have to come back in services when the teachers have to come back, but the students do not have to yet. So we will be back on uh, Monday, Tuesday, and then the students come back on Wednesday, which is kind of nice to come back. I like when we have long, uh, long breaks like this and being able to like come back after them and have some time to prepare and get things ready. I do like that, and I like um, that we only have a three-day week when the students come back because then it makes it easier one for us um, because <laughs> then we don't have to um, I don't know it's just you it doesn't feel as long and horrific <laughs> that sounds bad but uh, if you're a teacher you, you know what I mean it's just it, it's it's a lot easier um, and nicer to not have to come back to a full week uh, with students after you've had a long break. Um, so basically the first week back is just going to be like reintroducing our routines, getting them back into the procedures that we have, and just like reacquainting them with what we do and what's expected of them when they're at school because they've been off for a couple of, for two weeks and yeah, they're going to forget. So, um, but I have in service on those first two days, and then we the students come back on Wednesday, like I said. Um, the seventh is also two months until the wedding, which is just insane, y'all. I cannot believe we are already hitting that two month mark, but we are, and yeah. Um, on Friday it is Chris's payday, so he gets paid, um, which means I need to like meal plan. And then I will put in our um, grocery order on Saturday and go pick it up on Sunday. And then um, I have a reading training on Saturday. I've mentioned this several times, but for those of you, if you are new to my channel, um, I decided not to use that quote because I didn't like the blues. Like the blues of the quote didn't really look good with the blues that are already on the page from like the, um, the clothes and the snowflakes. So... I decided not to use it. Okay. And then, um, I have that reading training on Saturday, which I, this summer I went to a training for reading in, uh, in Round Rock where it was a week long of training and, um, we are continuing with, continuing with that throughout the, um, year. So we've had, a lady, a coach is what she is called, has come to our um, school and like coached us, I guess, in in little air quotes because she doesn't really coach us. Um, she basically sits in there and tells us what she saw that she liked. She's not giving us things that we need to work on per se. So um, yeah, but anyway, so then after, but anyway, so, and we also have um, like, trainings that we have to go to like the uh, our actual um oh my gosh what is it called region and like do them so we have one of those this Saturday and they're really boring we went to one last semester and it was so boring so the only thing I'm getting from the winter sticker book is this quote because I didn't really I needed a quote and they didn't have any um but that's really the only thing that I pulled from it is that quote everything else came from the um sorry if you hear my clip pin clicking I'm just writing notes down so I can remember what to tag for you guys in the bottom um so everything else came from the oh my goodness four the color story four um also I do realize that there is um silver on the page like the washi is silver and then the full box and then the little colorful boxes I put down are gold. So that is my like mini half sheet planner. I use it to pre-plan. So everything that 
so I'm just kind of looking and seeing what I needed so I can figure out where to put these boxes. Um, but I use that to pre-plan so I can kind of know what to put down for the week. Um, and I do this all before. So again, I'm using the Uniball Signo pen to just wipe those out. I'm not going to fast forward you as fast through this because I just want to talk to you guys. <laughs> I have been off for two weeks and been home. I have had like appointments and stuff. But I have been home with my t three animals and no one else to talk to you because Chris has been working. He was off today. This is um, New Year's Day that I am actually doing this voiceover on. I filmed this on New Year's Eve. But um, it is New Year's Day and he has been home all day. But he was playing his game all day. So I didn't really have any like one to talk to. <laughs> so I'm getting in my Colorful Boxes sticker book. And I am... Um, pulling out some colorful boxes. I didn't really like any of the blues in it. They just didn't really match. Um, so I'm looking at all of the blues and then I, I decided to just go with gold because why not? I already had gold on the page, even though I pulled a silver washi. So yeah, we just went for the gold. Um, and in a second, I'm going to switch around some boxes because I didn't like how there was two blue boxes on the second half of the week. So I pulled out all of the boxes I think I'm going to need. And I actually have to go back in for one more. No, two more. No, one more. I had to go back in. For, no, I don't know. You'll, we'll see it at the end. Yeah, I go back for two more um, boxes because I didn't pull enough. But so that is all the boxes. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah. Um, I have that reading training. That's really it this week. I mean, it's not that busy of a week. I'm sure once we get back into like the school, the work portion of it will be really busy because I will have grades are due um, this week. So I will have to input my grades and make sure everything's finalized and make sure that all the grades are good and that they are, they reflect what my students are actually like, where they actually are. Um, and then I will, this is where I switch the boxes because I didn't like the two blue. Oh no, just kidding. Okay, anyways, um, so then report cards will go home Thursday, and I actually didn't write that down in my planner. I totally forgot about that, but report cards will go home on Thursday this week. I don't know why they go home on Thursday and not on Friday, but that's just how our school has always done it. Um, so they will go home on Thursday. Um, and then I just, I can't believe it's already 2020, y'all. I can't believe we're already, like starting the second semester of school. It's just, it's so crazy to me how fast this year has flown by. Um, like I, I think I mentioned this in a couple of videos. I'm pretty sure I have, but if you're new, I do have the high students. So my students were, um, coming into me, they are already significantly, significantly, um, higher than where they needed to be to start the year. Um, so, which basically just meant that um, my job got a lot harder because I do all of the lesson plannings. We sit down and we talk about um, what we want to be teaching that week. So we sit down and we talk about everything, but I sit down and actually like type it all in, plan it all out, um, and do all that. So then that just means that I have to, sorry, I had to stop real quick. So that just means that I have to go back in later um, because I plan for grade level. Like if you are on grade level, this is what you should be learning at this time. So for my students, since some of the things they don't know, so I do have to teach them like place value. They don't do place value in um, kinder. So I do have to teach mine that, but... Um, there are some things, a lot of the reading items, I have to do more advanced things, which means I have to go in and just plan for a little harder. But so that is basically it for this week, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm popping her back on the ring, on the discs, not rings, discs. And that is it. So bye, y'all.